Lucy and Karina want to find out how healthy these whales are. Their sheer size makes taking blood virtually impossible. So Karina's the first scientist to try to capture a sample of the whale's breath in the wild. Germs in the whale's breath will tell Karina if they have any infections in their lungs. But taking a sample is easier said than done, as the sample dishes have to be held right over the whale's blowhole. They fail to capture a single sample. But Karina has an ingenious plan B. OK. Oh, wow. What a superb looking thing. But it is a fabulous idea to link science collecting with a small miniature helicopter. Wow. With sample dishes attached, the helicopter can fly straight through the whale's breath without disturbing them. But pilot Agustin Payen has strong winds to contend with. We're moving up on some whales right now, just nice and slowly to parallel their course and then he can swing this in and collect a sample of the blow, so it's all a matter of timing. Go, Augustine, it's perfect, man. Go, buddy. Just a bit further out, Augustine. He's gonna dive, yeah, can you believe it? Tooney and Philippe aren't having much luck either. I think there's a whole load of sonar conversations going on down there at the moment, which is basically the sperm whales telling each other there's a bunch of wannabes knocking around on the boat. <laughs> and to get the heck out of here. You can just see them, they're all just diving all around us. OK, Augustine, get in there, buddy. No. Despite the strong winds, they're finally getting closer with the helicopter. Good man, get in there. Forwards, mate. Now, now. That's the sample, he's got it. The germs caught in the dish will help reveal more information about the health of the sperm whale population here. <laughs> well done, that's okay. perfect. Can you? Can yeah, yeah. You okay. And with each sample so hard to collect, this one will be important for Karina's research. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks very, very much. Good. OK, that was a good sample. And what is it that you're specifically looking for with these? Mycobacteria, for example, the agent that can cause tuberculosis. Haemophilus, that's a very common germ that causes infection in the lungs. It can cause severe problems, even meningitis. Yeah, so it's, it's just a list of germs to start with. Karina's early findings suggest whales could have caught some of these bacteria from humans, perhaps through activities like whale watching. Her groundbreaking work has highlighted this problem for the first time. It might be an important development in protecting sperm whales.